Hey guys! Today's recipe is inspired by our stop at the food truck yesterday. We had rice and beans. It was so good and we realized this would be a perfect meal prep because it's easy to make, really quick to make, and inexpensive. So, so let's get started. First, we're gonna make some brown rice. So you're gonna add three quarters of a cup of brown rice to a saucepan with two cups of water. Then you're gonna bring it to the boil cover with a lid and cook until all the water has absorbed. Next we're gonna dice about half of a yellow or a white onion and we're gonna dice two cloves of garlic. This is gonna be for the beans. To a pan you're gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use whatever oil you'd like but today we're gonna use some coconut oil. When the oil is hot add in the diced garlic and onions. Give it a stir and then let these saute while we go drain the beans. Drain and rinse two cans of black beans. Come back over to your onions, give them a quick stir. They're sauteed and smell amazing and now you're just going to add in the black beans. Woo. Add in about a quarter of a cup of water, then give it a stir. Put your heat on low. Add in some salt, some pepper, and cilantro. Stir together and let the beans simmer just for a few minutes. Once the water is boiling, give the rice a stir, cover with a lid, put your heat on low, and cook until all the water has absorbed. Okay, so now we're gonna make some fresh salsa and guacamole to go on top of the rice and beans. Let's go. So we're gonna toss up some red onion. This is about half of a red onion, which is 100 grams. Mm -hmm. We're going to put half in the bowl for the guac and half in the bowl for the salsa. If you're not a huge fan of raw red onion, then you are more than welcome to leave it out. Or put less. Whatever you'd like. Next we have two tomatoes. We're just going to dice these up. It is really important to have a really sharp knife. And so if you want to use the knife I recommend, you can find in the description box below. I've been using the same kind of knife so since I started my culinary career. My first knife I got was in 2005. And I still use it today. And in America, I just got myself a brand new baby. <laughs> Going into a bowl. You can use a mixing bowl for this, but of course we still forgot to bring our mixing bowls over to this new kitchen. <laughs> To do our salsa now, we're going to add a jalapeno. If you like it hot, you can add it, but if you don't, you can totally leave it out. So I'm going to keep some of these for garnish, and then I'm going to use the rest of the other half, I'll chop up into the salsa. Here we go. Techie, what are you doing in the kitchen? What are you, you want, doing? You want a carrot? <laughs> okay, Jackie wants a carrot. We actually ended up letting the beans cook for about 10 minutes and now they look beautiful. So just leave them on a low simmer for 10 minutes. Mm. Set that aside for later. Good boy, Jack. Hey, your eyes match the rug. <laughs> oh, you little blind puppy, you're so cute. Oh, you want to come with daddy? Want to come with daddy? Come with daddy up. No, run right away! <laughs> now we're going to dice about a handful of cilantro and divide it into each bowl. Here we have two avocados, we're going to dice them up and add them to the onions. Mmm, beauties. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to spoon it in, like so. To finish guacamole, we're going to add some lime. Now of course you can add lemon if you like, so we're going to use half a lime, and then the other half of the lime, we're going to slice really thin and keep it to preserve the guacamole. So let's go. Half of our lime, we're going to squeeze that juice in. Ooh, hello. Here we go. Half of a lime. Put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> Drink it all up, you put the <laughs> lime in the coconut, you call the doctor when oh, wow. you say Listen doctor! To that voice. <laughs> Is there something I can do? Call the doctor! <laughs> We're going to slice this nice and thin. 
This we are going to quarter for garnish. Tonskis. So now we're going to mash up the guacamole. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to both of the bowls. One for the guac. And one for the salsa. Oh, where are we? Add salt and pepper. Now mix them both. Obviously, I recommend using a bigger bowl. <laughs> we still don't have our mixing bowls We're yet. A little bowl challenge. Like, uh, salsa. Hey. Some of you may ask why I'm not putting the tomato in with the guacamole. The reason is because I don't want the guacamole to get all wet and mushy with the tomatoes because tomatoes are mostly water. So I'm separating them and when I store these, if you're gonna eat these cold, of course you could put the guacamole and the salsa right on top like we are. But if you wanna reheat the rice and beans, keep the guacamole and the salsa separate in a different container and then you keep the rice and beans in the milk up containers and reheat that and then just add the guacamole and salsa on top. So now I'm going to show you how to store the guacamole if you want to separate it from the rice and beans. You're going to put your guacamole into your small container. Make sure your container is airtight. And the reason that your guacamole goes brown is because the avocados are oxidizing. It's simply just oxygen reacting with the avocado. It doesn't mean that the guacamole or the avocado is bad, it really just means that the oxygen has started to get to it, which is causing discoloration. These, these little slices we used before, you can place on top and push down, and this is gonna help stop it from going brown. Comment below if you have any other tricks, but this is my trick. Just like that. And then, of course, you could drizzle a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of water on top, and then put on your lid, into the fridge just like so and then you would scoop out a couple of scoops onto your rice and beans when you're ready what oh happened? man i just rubbed my eye and i forgot that i touched <gasps> the jalapeno oh no oh dude cardinal rule oh I was see like, even chefs forget things i was like i'll use my pinky so that that one the pinky wouldn't have done that your pinky oh. so now that your rice is finished cooking we're going to add one tablespoon of coconut oil if you remember this from the very, very first episode, a lot of people asked why the hell would you put coconut oil into your rice. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to stop the rice from sticking and it's going to give it a really nice flavor and I really love it. Traditionally you would use butter, but coconut oil is a much better option. A lot of you are going to be like, yo, pick up the cooks, why are there so many carbs in the recipe? Well, this recipe has 19 grams of fiber. So if you are worried about your carbohydrate intake, you're gonna minus the fiber from the carbs to give you like a really true carb value. So there's gonna be like 40 carbs in here, which is still pretty good. And it's delicious and super filling. It's the perfect recipe to have after a workout. <laughs> Add half a cup of rice to each container. Be sure not to cover your containers until they have cooled completely. Divide the bean mixture evenly among the containers. Divide the salsa evenly among the containers, unless you're going to freeze it or reheat the rice and beans. If you are, then you're gonna store it in the fridge like Adam told you before. And just like the tomatoes, divide the guacamole among the containers as long as you're just planning on eating this cold. If not, you're gonna store it in the fridge. To finish, garnish with the lime and jalapeno if you'd like. Easy as that, guys. So you know that when you bring this to work or to school or wherever you're eating this, everybody is gonna look at you and be like, oh my God, I want some. So make sure you share this recipe with your friends, tell everybody where you got this recipe so that we can influence more and more people to eat this delicious food. That's right. Make sure to post pictures on Instagram, hashtag FitCoupleCooks, and tag us at FitCoupleCooks. Here are your pictures from this week. If you haven't joined the Fit Day already, make sure to head to Facebook and join our community page where you can post your achievements and share your stories. It's called the Fit Couple Cooks Fit Fam. Have a great week. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Namaste. Wait, what are we saying? Turn up. When you're ready to eat it, you can just mix it all together. I'm gonna eat one right now. Ooh, wow. I don't know. Mmm. Oh yeah, it looks so good. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh.
Mm. It does smell mm -hmm. so good. Those beans are freaking amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> it's like happiness in my mouth. Oh, wow. Mm.